creator for Vendu. And I'm so excited to be here to unbox my very first order from Jomar Wholesale. I had the pleasure of interviewing Rachel from Jomar on our seller spotlight on Vendu's Instagram Live, and I learned so much about the company and what they do. I was really excited to order for the first time, and I purchased the Vintage Resellers Pack. What that is, is 25 items that are either vintage or vintage inspired. With my 20% coupon, this box was $92, which is $3.68 a piece, an amazing price for vintage. I'm not really sure why I never ordered from Jomar before. I know that a lot of my reselling friends do. I guess I just presumed that their prices would be more expensive than what I can acquire at the thrift store. But that is a great price and I am super excited to see what's inside. So I've literally never uh, ordered one of these. I've, I've never ordered from any company like this. I don't really know what to expect. This box is full. All right, let's see what we have. Okay. This is my very first item. Um, it's like a golden tan houndstooth blazer jacket. It is definitely vintage. It's DKNY, um, pure wool. It's an excellent, excellent condition with a satin lining. So I'm very, very happy with my first piece. Um, I'm not sure that this is women's, but I'm also not sure that that matters. Um, I love listing unisex pieces, so I will actually list this in men's on a hanger and also have a woman or myself model it with probably something black and lacy underneath and maybe some jeans. I love showing pieces with jeans because it it's better than, in my opinion, than showing with dress pants or showing with like ripped jeans because then you're putting in the buyer's mind an idea of formality or being casual. But I think like a plain black or a plain dark blue jean is a perfect way to showcase some items like this. All right, what's next? I, oh my goodness. This looks very 80s to me. This is, is this a romper? Yeah. <laughs> So this is like a, um, a romper tracksuit. It is the brand Gitano, G-I-T-A-N-O. And uh, it's a size small. It looks very, very, very 80s. This would be a tough piece to sell, I think, if it weren't modeled. But I'm definitely going to have it modeled. The top unzipped a little bit with some chunky white sneakers. I've never heard of that brand. I'm gonna have to do some research. This is so much fun, it's like Christmas. This is really pretty. This is Vintage List Clair Claiborne. I recognize that tag instantly to be from the 90s. This is a really pretty piece. Um, it's a half button down, well it's not button. Oh, it is button, there's buttons here. Button and then snap closure uh, dress with a gathered waist. It's like a, um, I wouldn't quite consider it maxi. But it's a below the knee fit. It looks to be a good size. Yeah, it's a vintage six. So I'm very happy with this piece too. Ooh, I like this already. Oh my goodness, love this. This is also Liz Claiborne. It's Liz Sport. As you can see, it's um, kind of like a plaid houndstooth argyle mix and it's primary color. So it's red with green, blue, and yellow. This I will definitely style with a turtleneck underneath, probably like a, a navy one um, and some jeans. This is also a piece that I would consider unisex, especially on Depop. I will list this in men's and fully disclose that it's women's sizing. Um, but this, this is definitely a unisex piece that I will list in both categories and probably my favorite so far. Ooh, I like this pattern already, and I feel shoulder pads. This blouse is, oh, I'm not sure that it has a brand. Oh, I see a tag. 
This is Nicola. Yes, I've seen that brand. I know that it was sold in TJ at TJ Maxx in the 90s. It might still be today. This is Nicola. Uh, it definitely appears to be vintage. It is silk. It is paisley. And it has shoulder pads. I love this. This is very much my personal style. You can't really see the colors that well. No, you can. Uh, but these are very perfect fall colors. Um, satin is trending right now, so this piece will fly out of my Depop shop. Ooh, what's next? This is cute. I like this. This is the brand Colors, spelled um, the European way, C-O-L-O-U-R-S. This is genuine leather. That is awesome. It's a genuine leather um, midi skirt. Super high rise, some belt loops there. Love this, nice chocolate brown color. That is um, a size 40. The waist looks to be a, about a 27 or 28. This brand is Two Palms. It is Hawaiian print. I don't personally love Hawaiian print, but I do like selling it because I think I'm the only one who doesn't love it. <laughs> Hawaiian print, especially in men's clothing, but in women's as well, sells very well. So this is a nice piece to have. Um, a little off season, but I'll still list it. I'll, I list things year round. I will probably list this um, for probably $48, taking anything uh, around there. I love this already too. This is cute and single stitch. So this um, blouse, this little polo, has no tags, um, but it is single stitch and it is very, very granny core, cottage core, and prairie core, which are all trending keywords right now. I am going to have this modeled with some jeans uh, and just a handbag to give it a little um, accessory and I will probably list this for $40 this is a great box so far this I think is just a, you know like a beach cover-up kind of it's just a sheer it's definitely um, I'm not sure that I believe that it's vintage but the box did say it would include um, like vintage inspired or vintage look so that's totally fine and this definitely does have some like boho macrame 70s vibes um and again it'll it'll be a tougher sell during the winter but i'm going to list it anyways i will probably list it for 30 dollars Ooh, velvet velvet <laughs> this is so much fun can i get one of these every day this brand i've never heard of yancey fugal I'm not sure if this is vintage or if it's vintage inspired, but either way, it's adorable. It's um, it's not velvet, actually. It's fur, like it's faux fur. It's very, very, very soft and shimmery and adorable. Um, it is a size six. I'm gonna have to do some brand research to help determine pricing, um, but I, I'm, I think it'll be a great addition to my shop and I think it'll sell quickly. Jeans love vintage denim these are really re oh they're not jeans it's a skirt but it's really cute the brand is nothing like a squeeze squeeze jeans and it's this really cute tulip button down um like open denim skirt looks high rise it's a vintage size seven eight which probably puts it about a modern four six uh, but I'm gonna list this high I'm gonna list this at 125 it's really unique it's an amazing condition all of these pieces have been in amazing condition so I'm actually really excited about this one this one's my new favorite so far Ooh, I say everything's my favorite and then I take another one out but look at these these are cool the brand is Spitalnik. <laughs> Spitalnik. I'm probably saying that wrong and I'm going to be very embarrassed later. Um, but these are definitely vintage. They are single stitch. 
Um, they are hand stitched, actually, it appears. And they're just a really cool pattern. There is some wear on this one. This is the first piece I've seen with wear. Um, but as you can see, it's really subtle. And all, like, quite frankly, like what I, I expect this. These pieces are, you know, several years old. So that's a great, really unique piece. Uh, and I'm excited for these as well. I see more satin. Oh my goodness, I have a, sh a blouse very much like this. That is the same brand. It might be the same blouse in emerald green. That is so funny. Um, this will be a very fast sell in my closet. This I will list for $40. This is a silk blouse. The brand is Impressions. It has shoulder pads. Uh, it's a super satiny ivory and it's stunning. Absolutely stunning. It looks really nice next to those pants, actually. Ooh. This actually felt just like St. John, so I kind of got excited. Um, it is not. <laughs> it's Joan Fagan, or Fagan, Joan Fagan. Um, they are size large. They're just some knit pull-on pants. Um, I, unless that brand is amazing and I've never heard of it, I don't have wildly high expectations for this piece, but I'll probably list them depending on the decade between 25 and 40. Um, they are really cool. They do, they are major St. John vibes. Um, they kind of remind me of this Santana in it. They're kind of sheen material. So they're definitely a cool piece. Ooh, I love this. I love this sweater dress. This is a John Richard sweater dress. It appears to be from the 90s. Um, it's, a, it's a small, it's a vintage small, which is weird because usually um, that would make it an extra small, but this actually looks a little bit larger. Um, but again, excellent condition, super fuzzy. I will have this modeled and I will list this probably for 65. Jeans. This time it is jeans. These are Banana Republic vintage jeans. I've actually never seen that Banana Republic label. That's really cool. Made in the USA. They are mom jeans. Straight leg, high rise. Unfortunately, we have a loose belt loop here. Um, that's an easy fix. But to be honest with you, I don't even know that I'll bother to fix it before selling. Um, because people really don't mind when there's subtle flaws like that on on really old vintage items. So that's exciting. They're a little bit tiny, but they're super cool vintage mom jeans. I've never seen anything that's um, Banana Republic vintage, so that's exciting. Ooh, this is colorful. Are these pants? Yeah, no, a skirt? No, they are pants. These are cool pants. Absolutely no tags, but very, very clearly um, handmade pants major 70s vibes. They're kind of flared leg, very pretty colors, very cottage core. These are really cool. This is why I love selling vintage. Like you don't see like funky cool things like this. Um, and I mean, you can't really beat the quality. I'm really excited, those are cool. I will list those for probably 125. Granted, when I say what I'm gonna list something for, um, I also keep in mind every time I get an offer, my cost of goods. So even if I listed something at 125, quite literally, I might consider accepting a $60 offer. That's a 50% offer. But also my cost of goods is in this case, 368. Um, so I list high because if I don't list high, it can't sell for high, right? But I also consider low balls, if you will. Like I welcome them, send them, send them over. <laughs> This is really pretty. Um, it kind of looks like a scrub top, <laughs> actually. Just like, maybe it's the colors or the style that remind me of that, um, but it'll definitely sell. It'll definitely sell. I'm gonna have it modeled with some black faux leather pants. Um, it is a size medium. The brand is Requirements. I will have to look up the decade on that. It can be hard to authenticate Decade, um, like the decade on um, tell how old vintage pieces are. I did learn a lot about that 
from Breezy and her course. I actually wrote a blog article uh, with her collaboration on some tips and tricks on how to date vintage items. This is beautiful. This um, I'll probably keep <laughs> if it fits me. This is a Lord & Taylor, um, just, it's a cross between a sweater and a blouse. I mean, it's definitely, it's a, it's a thick, thick blouse. It's a beautiful, like, muted mustard um, color, and it has this neck. It's nice and thick. Yeah, this probably will never make it to online because I really love this. I, I wish I could describe this material better, but it's so thick, but it's so soft. I see more denim. What? These are freaking awesome. Are we kidding? Are we kidding right now? I'm obsessed. These are so freaking cool. Oh my goodness. These are getting listed for, I don't even care what brands it is. They are, they are getting listed for 150 on Depop. And I don't know what brand they are. There is no brand tag left, only a size. Um, I'll have to do some research. Maybe this um, lining will help or the font on the tag. The cool thing about the reselling community is if I post that somewhere, um, it's not unlikely that someone will recognize it. Unfortunately, there's no numbers or style numbers or RNs or anything. Oh, sheesh, right in front of me. Res exterior. I have never heard of that, but these are freaking awesome. I wish these fit me. I can tell by looking at them that they won't. But mom jeans with faux suede tassels. Awesome. Only a few more. This screams 80s. I'm trying to figure out what it is though. Is it a dress? Well, the brand is Orare if I'm saying that correctly. And yes, I believe it is a, it's either a very long blouse or it's a button up dress. I'll have to look at the size to help me determine that. But it's very cute. It's double breasted with these big chunky black buttons. Um, made in the USA, yeah. It's it's a dress. I think it's a, it's a dress, it's just small. And it comes in here. But it's a really funky, like abstract optical illusion, geometric, um, pattern with some bright colors that's cool honestly sometimes like the funkier and more random the better especially for platforms like depop so i will probably list this for 52 dollars the fun thing about vintage is you hear me rattling out numbers even though i've never heard of brands now if i hear that if i learn that that brand although i've never heard of it is really valuable those prices will go up um but it also doesn't really matter there are comps that can be done with vintage, especially with like classic, you know, Levi's and Harley and Disney pieces. But a lot of times, I mean, you kind of set your own, kind of set your own comp. Again, I price high, I accept offers. Um, there isn't really a way on Depop to look at comps, which is very cool. You can look at comps in, in so far as other active listings, provided that they were described with the words you're looking for, but you can't really look at souls. So it's kind of another way to like set your own market. Um, this is that same brand, Joan Fagan, um, from before. I Again, I've never heard of her, but now I have two pieces. This is beautiful. These, um, like I said, the pants reminded me of St. John. So does this. This knit as well as these buttons very, very much does. So I'm actually really excited to look. Is it missing a button? No, it's not. Yay. Um, I'm really excited to look up this brand and learn more about it. It looks like it will yield a lot. The pieces are very classic and beautiful. Ooh, I like this. This reminds me of um, Ralph Lauren, which I don't believe that it is. This is a Union Maine. I believe that's, you know what? I'm not even gonna mess it up. I don't know what era that logo is, but I know that I can look it up online easily or in Breezy's um, manual that she has as part of her course. This appears to be a wool skirt. It's absolutely beautiful. Look at that, I love that. And two more. This is a t-shirt. Oh, cool. Um, P51 Mustang North America with a helicopter. 
It is, oh, it is single stitched, nice. It is a single stitch t-shirt. A lot of these pieces are unisex too, which is really cool. I actually don't remember if the description on this box um, specified a gender. It didn't really matter um, because with vintage it doesn't. Now this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. And I'm glad that I ended with this piece so that I can talk about how uh, I need to look up the actual name of this garment so I am describing it in a culturally appropriate and respectful way. Um, I don't know what that word would be, so I'm not, I'm not going to guess, but it appears to be reversible, whereas the lining is almost like a, a satin rainbow. Um, the brand is right here. And obviously, it says from it's from China. It's obviously a Chinese piece. So I'm going to learn more about what this is called and how to describe it respectfully and appropriately. But it is absolutely stunning. And the quality and condition are perfect. And here are some of my favorite pieces from this box. These will be my cover photos. I love having vintage pieces modeled bringing some life into the clothing. I will definitely continue to shop with Jomar, especially for vintage. It's really tough to find vintage, and this box gave me a variety of sizes, styles, and decades, and they're in excellent condition. You really cannot beat this price point especially for vintage pieces. This is a perfect box for a Depop, Etsy, or eBay seller, or really any reseller. If you'd like to get 10% off your next order from Jomar, use the code LIMES, L-I-M-E-S. I've already ordered my next vintage box. If you like this video, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time, reseller friends.